For the sake of constructing this music system as a purely mechanical one, uh, let's take a gramophone needle, the old-fashioned one. Oh, let's draw here the vinyl, if you like, and the needle here moving from left to right, and this movement will move this membrane from left to right and then this membrane is attached to uh, either a gearbox or a, or an hydraulic system so that it's it will move this this valve the upper part of the valve the slider sliding part from left to right I don't want to go into the detail of this section, but its role is to amplify the movement of the needle, which is not that doesn't have the energy to move the, the slider from left to right. So it's also analogous to the driving driving tube, the driving section of the vacuum tube amplifier, like this one is a is a sort of uh, driving tube. Uh, let's assume that this tube is placed at this point. The next thing we're going to do is to add a wing or a flap, if you like, uh, which is covering the half of the tube and having an articulation at the surface of the tube and which is able to move up and down with the bottom. The down movement of this wing is easy to understand, but in order to make it move up, we're going to add a, a spring attached to the surface of the tube, fixed here, so that when there is this bias flow of the water, this spring is going to hold the wing in a balanced position like this this one so if there is less flow than the bias flow the wing m will move up if there is more flow than the bias the wing will move down now if we attach the extending part of this wing to a speaker cone like this the speaker cone will move up and down now let's follow the hydraulic music systems operation from the source towards the the speaker let's take a, let's apply here a sine wave Now, assume, let's assume when the, this, the, the signal moves upwards here and the positive side, uh, the needle is moving left and this makes the, this uh, valve, the upper section of the valve move left and which also allows more